Do you know the number one mistake and trial offers for subscription and membership businesses? Stay tuned and I'll show you that along with what you should be doing instead. I'm Robert Scrobe and this is the show that helps your membership or subscription business to be unleavable. For many membership or subscription business owners, discounted trial offers can be a fast way to add a lot of new paying subscribers. Take for instance, this offer from the Boston Globe. I was excited to see that I've been selected to receive the newspaper for six months for only a dollar. A special offer just for me, really. As it turns out, I'm not that special at all because the Boston Globe makes the exact same offer to all visitors who read more than one article on their site. And according to a study by Digital Contact Next, the offer has doubled the Boston Globe subscriber base in more than a year. It took them seven years to get to 100,000 paid subscribers and then just one year to get to 200,000 paid digital subscribers. That's the power of an effective trial offer. But there's a darker side to this. And in a moment, I'm gonna share something that may shock you. But before that, however, a reminder to press the like button and also subscribe to this channel to make sure that you're the first to know about future episodes. So coming back to trial offers for subscriptions, here's the truth. Trial subscription offers are a popular tool in the marketing toolbox because frankly, it's easy to sell cheap. That's why you commonly see free trials, discounted trials, seven day trials, 10 day trials, 30 day trials, and even six month trials. There's no shortage of subscription companies jumping on the trial bandwagon, but most of them are making the same mistake. What's the mistake? They take conversion for granted and fa fail to follow up strategically. I've mentioned this before, but you might be surprised to know that whenever I'm working with a subscription startup, I try to dissuade them from using trial offer with a cheap price. Instead, I encourage them to make an offer that's primarily based on two things. Number one, value, and number two, member experience. Despite my own strong feelings about trial offers, I still get hundreds of subscription business owners approaching me for help in improving the retention on their trial offers. And through that work, I've become known as an expert in improving trial offer conversion strategies. It's pretty ironic, isn't it? So in this episode, now that you've learned the number one mistake to avoid, I'm going to reveal how to improve trial conversion rates to increase the number of long-term loyal subscribers you generate through those offers. This often overlooked downside of trial subscribers is the high churn or cancellation rate both during the trial period and for the first few months after the trial period ends. And when I say high, it's often extraordinarily high. Let's come back to the Boston Globe offer. At their normal rate of four weeks for $27.72, six months would normally cost $180.18. You can immediately understand why it's easy for them to convert new subscribers with an offer of unlimited articles and content for a dollar when the regular price is $180. The big mistake, again, that subscription businesses are making is they don't use the trial offer as a sales window to convert the trial into a paid subscriber. Instead, they just kind of let the content try to do the work for them. This approach is pervasive in many businesses. Many SaaS freemium or trial offers do the same thing. While they may offer some sort of training or tutorials on their software, they basically leave it to chance as to whether the user will engage or not. That's the modus operandi for most subscription businesses with trial offers. It all starts with an ad. Then there's a promo and an order form. The customer agrees to a ridiculously low price trial and finish line, done. That's the attitude that most subscription businesses have. The sign up or registration signals the end of their job. It's as if they were saying, we now have a new subscriber, job well done, let's pat each other on the back. But how wrong they are. You see the customer is on their own. The marketing team back at Subscription Business HQ is focused on getting the next new trial subscriber. They've moved on, totally forgotten about their new fledgling subscriber who's now been abandoned. Personally, I call this a series of one night stands. The new trial subscriber has said yes 
to your offer, but there's absolutely no follow-up. And that's why this is extremely common, yet extremely flawed approach leads to incredibly high cancellation rates and churn. Yes, the trial offer will almost certainly outperform better than any other type of marketing. However, just as I've explained in this episode, it's not performing as well as it should be performing. Imagine converting twice as many of your trial subscribers into happily paid subscribers a year after the trial begins. Is that even possible? Here's how. You've got to move the finish line. You still have an ad, sales promo, order form, and trial purchase. But to increase trial conversions, you need to add a new subscriber on-ramp, also known as onboarding, to get subscribers up to speed including welcome emails to help them get engaged, as well as upsells to maximize their value. That's how you increase your lifetime value of your loyal trial subscribers, get them more trial subscribers to say yes to a paid subscription, and increase the value of all your trial subscribers. This shortens the CAC payback period, enables you to spend more on your advertising to acquire new subscribers, which together enables you to scale your recurring revenue much faster than you could without optimizing your trial offer conversion. That's what it takes to be unleavable. Now, if you've enjoyed and benefited from the concepts that I've shared within this episode, then I'm confident that you'll love this resource. After more than 25 years of working with subscription and membership businesses, I've identified all the key factors that are seen in the most successful subscription businesses. If you'd like to know what they are, you can either buy the book on Amazon or instantly download a digital copy for free at subscriptionsmadeeasy.com. After you receive the book, there's an opportunity to have me walk you through the details and get your questions answered. You'll probably want that too, but there's no obligation. What have you done to increase your conversion rate of trial subscribers into long-term paid members? Post your comments in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you, and I encourage you to share your thoughts and opinions about that or anything else that I've covered in this episode below. Also, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and that way you'll be the first to know when new episodes are available. And finally, check out this video that shows you how to write effective welcome emails, videos, and outgoing communications for new members to help keep them on track. Enjoy that episode, and I'll see you next time on Be Unleavable.